I have parked next to a watermelon. I'm actually surprised it's not like been more attacked by the pigeons that are flying around in here or by like flies or bees or something. But watermelons are not the point of today's video. Today's video is uh, YouTube, the money. I hope the lighting gets better. Um, so finally, after about a year and five months, I am profitable on YouTube. Um, so for the first, I started making videos. Uh, the first video went up March 16th, 2022. And it took until mid-December last year to hit all my requirements in order to monetize videos. So for the first nine months, I brought nothing in. Then I was able to monetize. So from mid-December till now, I've been earning money. It's not much. Uh, and you know, let's take a break and I'll give you a, a graphic with a voiceover on what the money has been so far to the penny. Okay, pretty simple graphic, but here it is. Let's uh, get a grid going, a chart, different color. Um, so the month on the left, since I started monetizing, and the payment on the right. So December 2022, um, midway through December. So December was like half a month, and then all the other months since, full months of monetization. And there are the payments. So the average is about $122 per month. And I'll put the total at the bottom there, $909.94 um, since I got my most recent payment for all of July's videos. So after this payment for July, so it's August for me right now. Um, the payment I received in August was the money that I earned in July. After this payment, I am now profitable on YouTube. Um, and what does profitable mean? Why wasn't I profitable after my first payment? Because it cost some money to get this going. The camera that I'm holding, I had to buy that. That was absolutely necessary to get a camera. Um, I got the sling pack, which um, you see me wear sometimes, not an absolute necessity, but eventually I bought that. And the portable hard drive, so I could save all of my videos. Um, wasn't absolutely necessary either, but I bought that. All of that totaled about $825, about $850. I'll put on the screen exactly what all that cost. And now, after about nine months or so of monetized videos, I have made more than that. So I am just uh, in the black. I was in, a, in the red for a very long time. And what's the goal? What's the goal of YouTube for me, I guess? The goal isn't to make about $125 a month. For one, I thought, I knew this was a new take on poker. Trooper kind of does a daily chronicle of the life of someone who plays a lot of poker. Basically, everyone else in the world does hands. And then I'm showing you, um, it's more poker centric than Trooper, but everything except hands. Uh, lighting. There we go. Um, so I knew it was different. I knew it had the potential to be a very popular and it was worth starting. Even if it wasn't gonna be popular, um, it was worth giving it a try and starting it. I know some people really like it. Um, not as many people watch every video. I don't get as many views per video as I thought you know, was possible by now. Um, the potential is definitely higher, but for whatever reason, marketing, um, other reasons, not as popular as I thought it could be. The amount of money I need to continue making videos forever isn't huge. Um, I don't need to make like 5K a month or anything like that or anything close to that. I'm aware that just money from uh, the ad revenue, from uh, views, um, it's pretty difficult to make a lot of money just from that. I know there are other ways like, uh, you know, an endorsement or something like that. I've reached out to the monorail because I don't know anyone else who loves it as much as I do and it's difficult to get something going like that. Um, there is another medium I'm about to start using to put out some uh, poker content, so be on the lookout for that. Um, I know there's uh, merchandise I've been thinking for, for months about an object and kind of a, a motto or like a, uh, like a logo, something like that for the channel. Um, they're all possible. Security's walking up on me. Security was very pleasant. Apparently, even though I'm in this aisle where there are absolutely no cars, I'm doing my best to not be near any cars or license plates or people. Someone reported to security that I was up here filming license plates. So, when security asked me what I was doing, I said I'm actually trying to do the opposite and be where there are no cars. That's why I'm in this aisle over here. 
Anyway, it's allowed. Just don't film license plates, which I wasn't doing. Um, so yeah, there are other ways I'm looking to make money. Um, if the only thing I ever make is like $125 a month from uh, my cut of the ad revenue, uh, the channel probably wouldn't go on forever. I'd still probably give it a chance to expand. I feel like there are way more people out there who would enjoy the content, who are still unaware of it. I'm um, probably looking at three or four years minimum, but if after like four years, nothing else comes out of the channel, uh, I might just stop after four years. I would give you guys a heads up. I wouldn't just stop it one day and say that's it. I would probably give you like three to six months of a heads up and say like there's three or six months left. But there is another medium. There are merchandise ideas and um, there are, what is by far the most difficult to me is um, like deals. I know some other people have uh, like paid promotions during their channel um, and things like that. You know, you talk highly about something you would talk highly about anyway, and they uh, give you some kind of a deal. I, w I would make a deal with certain poker rooms or certain casinos just for like comps, just for like two nights a month um, in a room. Like there are things that might not seem very valuable to other people, but uh, would actually be pretty valuable to me. So um, trying a few other things, but if you, uh, some people asked, just uh, purely what the ad revenue was, and I showed you that graphic, and it's roughly $125 a month, so. Uh, that's what I'm looking at now. Happy to be uh, profitable. Um, I always knew even if it wasn't very popular, I would get to the point where I made my money back on the camera, so. Uh, glad I did that finally. Um, it was a big step once I got um, the criteria met so that I could monetize, and it was a big step when uh, this last payment came in, I knew it was coming, but when it officially came in and I was able to uh, make back all the money I uh, put into the channel. So um, that's it for now. YouTube money explained, and I'll see everyone tomorrow. And remember, rice is a spoon food.